Let's go. Okay. We're definitely editing that part out. Yep, we are. So, music in the gym. Music in the gym. Okay, first we're going to talk about our pet peeves about music in the gym. Pet peeves? What are yours, Tom? Hey. Do you know what, what pet What's peeves pet are? Peeve? Oh, you mean like what pisses me off about yeah, music in the gym? Yeah, what pisses you off about music? Um, just the constant... <laughs> constantly. Okay. Because if that gets in your head and you're trying to train... You started in a bench press like this. <laughs> Before you know it, you've done 8 million reps. I mean, it's good isn't to your that, chest. Isn't that really good? Like, <laughs> if you have four plates of side on. Yeah, it's good, it's, good, it's good for you. Yeah, if you're doing like a 200 kilogram bench press, it's, I mean, it's going to make you big, isn't it? But I mean, it may tear things. Yeah. yeah. And I think you've got to have the music you like on. You do, because With, they've proven that um, if you're in your happy place, you train best. And what annoys me about it... When I'm in my happy place, the last thing I'm thinking about is training. <laughs> I do different things in my happy place. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about them on this video. No, I'm not going to show what they are either. No, not show what they are. No. Um, what are your pet peeves about music in the gym? I just don't like the way that everyone presumes that everyone likes dance music. That's so nice. therefore, that's a good point. rock music is never played. Yeah, that's another good point. Um, I don't like the way that... Uh, it's always stupid people who complain. <laughs> stupid people like anyone we know? Anyone we know? We know a, a stupid like, man that complains about music. Like in our gym? Yeah. Like, for example, it is too loud or, you know, or oh, no, 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 so it's, so, so, so it's not loud enough. Yeah, right, you turn the music down. Yeah, if your ears aren't bleeding, the music isn't loud enough, apparently. Yeah. So, why well, we sound really old then. We sound like a right pair of old bastards. It's yeah. too loud. Turn it down. And everyone else goes, no, it's but not when you try to make a blog, yeah, and someone's like, oh, why did you turn my music down? You can only hear it through about six <laughs> you walls. You see, you see, I was trying to be a bit like... Tactful. Tactful, well, yeah. It was impossible because we've already... But you, you just got an absolutely nailed who it was. Yeah. So they will now know who it was and they'll get really more arsy with us and be even more jabbering behind our backs. But, it's only a defence mechanism, isn't it? That we've already discussed. What is he it? thinks people don't like him, so therefore he's... Oh, angry um, and rageful. Swords other people. I think this was, could be someone else causing his rage, but I'm not going to talk about that because we're talking about music. Oh, do you mean creatine? Creatine. Creatine is well known to give horrific rage. Yeah, you don't want to take that shit. So when you see a big right guy right? who's rageful, it's probably creatine. From Holland and Barrett. Yeah, Holland and Barrett creatine is dangerous stuff. It's been known... To be involved in many homicides, or as we say over here, murders. That's boring, though, isn't it? Murders. Yeah, murders, rubbish, Americans, homicide. Yeah, yeah. Americans like vehicular them. homicide, you bring someone over. <laughs> That's amazing. That's what it should be called over here. So, yeah, music in the gym. I think that they should occasionally switch the CD from to something else. That's okay. all. Um, should we do top three bands really quickly? Oh, right, we need to. Top three bands. Your top three, then I'll do my top three. I don't know. You go, because I don't know. All right, okay. Um, in no particular order, Trivium. Trivium, right. Um, let's see. Bullet for My Valentine. Right. And I'm, I'm going to miss some out here, but yeah. um, let's see. Motley Crue is good. Motley Crue. Yeah, I love, I love the hard rock. That probably know. isn't my top three. That's just a random top yeah, yeah. three. No, that's good, because I think we're both hard rock fans. Yeah. So like my top three is probably Celine Dion. Um, Mariah Carey and Steps okay that's good yeah. um, I, they're all hard rock aren't they yeah yeah, yeah they're, they're like really yeah. hard though they're yeah. like you know people like just so it's just screaming that well that's what that is yeah it is. well it is isn't it yeah um, but I mean it's the stories behind them and I mean I know Celine Dion's had a battles with drugs just like uh, Keith Richards and uh, it's Keith Richards <sighs> And, um, is that like Cliff Richard? Yeah, well, I'm a massive fan of Cliff Richard, obviously. He's, yeah. he's, We're he, all going on a summer holiday. It's yeah. a really good training song. Yeah, but I mean, to be fair with Cliff, though, I mean, he's not exactly been the cleanest living guy, has he? I know that, you know, he's had his, his battles with... Uh, Pedophilia. <laughs> that's getting bleeped out. Uh, I was going to go down the drug route, which I thought was bad enough, but you've hit the paedophilia button. Yeah. So um, I think we can safely say this video's fucked now. Does that mean we go to... Well, I'm not going to go to prison because I don't think Cliff Richard was a paedophile. I just asked if he was so... Well, did you just ask? So, ask me again. 
Is he a paedophile? Is he a paedophile? Cliff Richard. He thinks Cliff Richard is a paedophile. No, for fuck's sake, we said we were going to keep this short. Okay, quickly then, ask me. Right, is he a paedophile? Cliff is Richard. <laughs> no. Stop being a dick. <laughs> you wanted to ask the full question so we could right. completely exonerate Oh, ourselves. okay, is Cliff Richard a paedophile? <laughs> no, Cliff Richard is not a paedophile. Right, okay. As far as I know, <laughs> I don't know everything about Cliff Richard. Right. Um, to sum it up then. Okay. Be more open-minded. Yeah. If they want to put some metal on in the gym every now and again, let them put it on. Yeah. There's more skill involved in creating metal music. You actually have to learn an instrument. Right. Your sentiments. Um, my sentiments stop constantly playing dance music in the gym. Because actually, if you stick a Rocky soundtrack on, that's the most motivational music you can do. Yeah, actually, Rocky is Rocky somewhere soundtrack. in between. However... People like us have heard that loads of times. I can so, still turn to it. Yeah, so can I. I my favourite one I think are, all my personal best lifts have been done to the Rocky soundtrack. I'm going to say that as a fact now. Um, I like the Rocky soundtrack all apart from the one um, James Brown. I don't like that James no, Brown. No, shit. Um, but apart from that, they're all good. No Easy Way Out is probably the best one. Um, obviously, Survivor. Eye of the Tiger. Eye of the Tiger, yeah. I, I think, actually, I'd, I'd go as far to say that every lifting world record that's ever been set has probably been done to the Rocky soundtrack. I don't know if that's true, but I, I bet if you look that up, it's John McGlock hasn't set any lifting world records, or has <laughs> well, that's never going to happen. But um, I'm talking about like deadlift world record, squatting world records, bench press world records, all that. I reckon all must have been set to the Rocky soundtrack. There you go. Google Definitely. that, but it's fact. <laughs>